Welcome back to Dishonored 2. We're continuing to work our way through the conservatory and the witches here are putting up more of a fight than they did in the con in the back alley earlier, that's for sure. And there's that room just there, but I can't go after it with these witches here. Can't risk it. Okay, uh, let's try blinking up behind her and... Oh, damn it. The other one spotted me. Okay, she's just unconscious, that's good. Come on. I'm over here, you stupid witch. Ow. Ow. Gotcha. It's a lot harder dealing with these witches when you can't kill them. Normally I'd have just shot them or something like that, but I've only got one sleep dart and I really don't want to waste it. What is that? Ah, oh, that's what she was shooting at me. Some sort of magical thorn from the looks of it. Oh, some food. Good, good, good. Need that. Okay, let's get this room. There we go. Actually, I should probably check. Wow. That rotten thing isn't going to help me, is it? Oh, it, it helped a little. Okay. Yeah, let's check my powers. See if I can afford anything useful. I've got four runes. Stop time's fully built up. Redirective blink would be nice, but I'm not super worried about it yet. Uh, vitality, also nice. Reflexes, what do these do? Block to deflect projectiles. Ooh, that would be nice. What are oh, the rest of these? Focus slide, slow time while sliding if aiming a ranged weapon at an enemy. Superior deflection, deflect projectiles toward the nearest enemy. I'm not sure I want that. That's likely to get people killed. Window of time for parrying is incre increased. Adept parry, that's very nice. Snap reaction. Quick reflexes seem to slow time briefly when an enemy spots you. Okay. That's some nice stuff in that tree. And it's not too expensive to get the stuff that I would want. That would be... Five runes in total. Not bad. Agility is always nice. Increase jump height, sprint faster, catfall, take less damage, yeah, all nice stuff. Don't need shadow kill. Or blood first. Bone charm crafting. I do want to get into this though. Ooh, decisions, decisions. No, no, I think reflexes. At the very least, I'll get the first tier of it to be able to block projectiles that's going to be very nice and because I keep messing it up I think I'll get a death parry as well actually there we go and then I can get the first level of bone charm crafting which opens up witch crafting lowers the chance of corruption for bone charms with three or four traits and trait synergy Use the same trait up to four times across your gra crafted bone charms. Hmm. Master crafting and craft runes. So I think I'll probably go down this side of the tree if I do. Uh, yeah, let's get let's get bone charm crafting. Yes. There we go. Now how do I do this? <laughs> Do I go to bone charms? Ah, here we are. Craft bone charms, okay. Okay, so... 
Yeah, you craft bone charms. Da, da, da. You have to sacrifice bone charms to discover new traits and gain raw whalebone. Okay. So I've got enough for several bone charms, but I don't have any traits yet. So I'd have to sacrifice some of my bone charms to gain the traits. Cannot learn traits from. Wait, what? Ah. Okay, some of these I can't learn the traits from, it seems. Like. these ones here. Okay. However, these ones I can. Okay, so. I guess what you do is you, once you find a load of traits that you like and you've got more bone charms than you can carry, is you sacrifice the bone charms to learn the traits and then gain and craft them together into a single bone charm with multiple traits. Oh, but it says if you use the trait multiple times on the same bone charm it becomes more powerful. Okay. Well, hmm. well, let's let's go ahead and sacrifice for for the railbone all these ones that I'm not using, and that's going to learn me a bunch of traits as well. Okay, a few more down here. Nerving target, there we go. Okay, so that's learnt me a bunch of traits. I have nine traits available, okay. So what I could do is... Yeah, interesting, yes. Okay, so yeah, I could put together a bone charm with two abilities through here. Okay. Well, I'm not in a situation where I'm going to need to make any bone charms just yet. Because of the fact that just about all the useful bone charms I've found so far, I have equipped. So, <laughs> that's... Ooh, raw well, whale Nice. <laughs> so, that's in, it's useful to learn how to do it. At any rate, let's kill these blood flies. There we go. And now I can deflect projectiles, which is very nice. Ooh, bananas. These all come in handy. There we go. Stupid blood fly. Yeah. Could have come in through the window. Ah, oh, yes, perfect sleep darts. Thank you, dead body. I will always be grateful for what you have given me. Edamar solution, I'm full on that. Don't need any more food. Anything else around here of any use? I can hear rats, but that's not of use to me. Our natural philosophers. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, that was a thing. Unfinished letter to Abigail. Abigail, cherished cousin, can you get some of his hair and a recent handkerchief? If so, handle them as little as possible and send them to me wrapped in, ra in wax paper. Leave the rest to me and he'll have bad luck for the rest of his days. No one should be forced to marry an old oyster like him. Just thinking on his horrible pur horrid purple lips makes me cringe. You poor little dove, how clever of Uncle Max to finally see the match was no good. Also, I'll send you some ointment for your complexion. Alicia. Okay. Seems this Alicia is also into witchcraft. Must run in the family. 
Okay, anything of value here? That'll be of use. Uh, what's this? Silver egg, I'll have that. Okay, that looks to be about it for here. Okay. Kick out over here. Now that's the main area once again. see anybody out here. Ashworth's office is up there. Okay. Oh, hello. That's worth something. Right. I guess let's rob this museum blind. <laughs> Why not? It looks clear. Ah, oh, security room key needed. Okay. Guess I'll have to find that key. This is too quiet. I don't like this. Uh, hello, I can hear someone. There's a target, and there's another one, and I am standing on top of a railing in plain view as she just turned her head a little bit. So yeah, let's be a little bit more careful, shall we? Okay, let's take out this witch up here. Let's go high. I'd rather have my portrait painted by the land of spells. There's a quality to Brianna's style I prefer. Touched by something from deep down in the mud where there's no light. The endless room and the cold, dead grave. Both the same. But Brianna's effigy is let her reach into the mind, into the heart. Wouldn't you be afraid she'd influence your dreams? Like she's going to do to the same story? That's part of the thrill, sister. about power is not the same. He's a street orphan, full of tricks, but I have faith Delilah can do such things. Come in, Hikash. It doesn't seem possible. That's all. But there's a just a dear land of street. Some people see doors where you and I only see walls. Okay, that was a lot of conversations going off all at once. Oh, no, and that's I nearly got spotted said. by someone out there. That's very specific. Very specific. Got to be careful about that. Okay. Oops. Oh, there goes two of my uh, sleep darts that I didn't want to waste. Uh, uh, almost certainly not going to be able to recover those wherever the hell they went. Damn it! I thought I had my blink still assigned. That was a mistake. And probably a costly one. Hmm, and there's people up there I need to be worried about as well. Like her. And her. Okay, I was going to clear out this lower level, but... I might need to go up to the third level and then work my way down. That wasn't it. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably the best approach. Okay. So the plan is go up and work down. And I saw some stairs up just over here, so let's start with those. Here we go. Oh yeah, another blood fly nest. I don't feel like playing with this one. There we go. Nice. 
handy. Okay, then. Oh, this is a lot of blood flies. Okay, keep thinning the herd. Okay, I think I got most of them. <laughs> Didn't take too much damage either. There we go. Hate that noise. Okay, let's see what we got around here. Wow. I can see why they wanted this place close to the public. Can you imagine trying to explain all this to them? Okay. Bone charm, nice. Whirlwind. I think I remember what that one does, but just for the fun of it. Let's see... Uh... Um... <laughs> uh, I guess I'll take out that. Uh, just for the fun of it. Yep, well, when sword attack speed is slightly faster. Well, I guess that's not the worst bone charm I could have found. What is all this anyway? I do not know. Hello, what's this? Oh, it's an alarm clock. Okay, never mind. I mean, faster sword speed would be useful for clearing out bloodfly nests, for example, or those gravehounds. So, not terrible bone charm. Not terrible, I might consider combining that with something else to make a another bone charm for me to use. Plus there's also the consideration of trying to make a really big bone charm that gives massive bonuses to the power in question. There we go. Where'd it go? There it is. Got it. Just hate the noise of that. It's so irritating. Okay, so roughly where am I in relation to all those other witches? Okay, I'm about the middle of that big area. Okay. Let's keep on going around the outskirts then. Bit more health, nice. Actually, you know what? This is about the right time, so yeah, I think I'll probably just end the uh, video here before I go play with these witches, which are sitting just out there, yeah. So yeah, I'll end the video here. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. Until next time, stay bad.